and welcome back to my channel. If you've not been here before, my name is Steph, welcome. Today I am going to film, well, today you're going to be watching a video that I filmed over the course of a week. Now I started doing weekly vlogs at the end of last year and then realized very quickly that my life is so boring, so boring. So we're in lockdown and I'm not doing anything and all days are rolling into one. So I was like, oh, I'll make my weekly vlogs about food and then very quickly realized that I have the same breakfast every day, boring. Whatever I have for lunch is just the dinner that I had the night before, again, boring. Instead, I thought I'd cut out all of the middle stuff and literally just film preparing my meals, eating my meals, kind of showing you what I throw together and kind of following the ethos that is not everyday gourmet. So I usually post on Instagram story my meals and stuff and sometimes they're really fancy and I wanna write a caption about them as if I'm writing them for the MS advert all sultry and explaining everything and it's really nice and took ages to make and it's delicious. And sometimes I just throw things in a pan or a microwave and hope for the best. And I kind of just wanted to show the balance of that over the course of a week because, oh my God, I thought about it and I was like, if I was watching me on Instagram and I see me making all of these semi extravagant things all the time, I'd be like, oh, shut up, I'm going to Kiev. Do you know what I mean? So instead I thought I'd break down some recipes and also show you some really simple things to throw together that taste nice as well. I feel like throughout lockdown, loads of people have coped with it in different ways so I know people that have got really creative people are painting and things like that and I feel like my passion is eating and to eat you have to cook so therefore my passion is also cooking so yeah I'm just gonna literally check in every evening before dinner either show you the recipe or talk you through it and hopefully give you some inspiration for some delicious and nutritious plant-based food so I really hope you enjoy this video I just showered and trained hence the transformation Tuesday that just took place from makeup to no makeup now I prepped some food before I started training so I'm gonna talk you through that because the rice cooker is on at the moment and you won't be able to hear me speak in the kitchen so I chopped up some mushrooms and some courgettes and I just left them to marinate because mushrooms are like little sponges if you put them in nice dressings and stuff they'll just absorb it all up before you cook it and so I just put in a tablespoon of olive oil two tablespoons of soy sauce two tablespoons of teriyaki sauce two tablespoons of sweet ponzu ponzu ponzo I think it is ponzo and then I put in two tablespoons of corn flour mixed all of that up and then covered it in the marinade left it to just sit and then just stirred it every time I walk past it and all of the sauces that I use are the Kickerman sauces. I think they're all vegan. All the ones that I use are vegan. I just check the back to be sure because sometimes fish sauces and sauces like that, but the Kickerman ones are amazing. Then I've just put some lentils and pearl barley in the rice cooker. I use a Thermomix, but you can get rice cookers on Amazon or something for like 12 pounds. And I cannot tell you the difference of the texture of rice or lentils. Sometimes we cook Thai sticky rice, which is just like a really fluffy white rice. And we put some lentils in when we're cooking it and some like dried lentils. Give it the texture of like egg fried rice. I can't explain it, but it really works and definitely recommend it. I'm gonna take you into the kitchen now and just show you the sauce that I'm making. It's just a really basic kind of satay style sauce. We use almond butter instead of peanut butter because Lou's allergic to peanuts, but it's really delicious and really easy to make. So most of the stuff that we're cooking tonight is just one of those where you just prep it, leave it, come back to it to serve it all together. A staple in my kitchen for all dinners that I get in every weekly shop is onion, garlic, ginger, and chili. If you have those four bad boys, you can make anything taste great, in my opinion. If you can't have onion, because I know a lot of people can't because of like tummy problems, leeks or spring onion also works as well. I'm not sure of a substitute for garlic, but I'll find out for you. <laughs>
here we have my finished meal. So there are the grains that have cooked for about half an hour. This is the marinated mushrooms and courgette that I added some kale in at the last minute. I then just fried the tofu off like you would a piece of chicken on a griddle pan, which gave it this line effect. And because there's so many flavors going on here, you don't actually need to season the tofu. I'll hopefully show you nice ways to flavor that later on in this vlog. And then I just drizzled it with some sauce on top, some sesame seeds, and then some coriander as well. Hello, so it is Tuesday and tonight Lou and I are going to have some black bean burgers. Now I filmed this recipe, I just ran up the stairs. And I'm so out of breath. <laughs> um, so I just filmed this recipe for a campaign video which has gone live on my Instagram so you can check out the full recipe on there. However, it was so easy to make and I feel like bean burgers are so easy to make. All I did was I boiled packet rice and black beans together for the duration of time that the packet recommended and then cook off all of the water and then mash it together to make a smooth paste and then you can literally add in any flavourings, seasonings, salt, peppers, paprikas, anything that you like. And then I just added in some breadcrumbs to bind it together and some barbecue sauce. And also made a concentrate using a stock cube. So I literally dissolved a stock cube in like a tablespoon of hot water, stirred it all together and then added that in as well. And then if it's too gooey, you can add some more breadcrumbs or if it's not gooey enough, you can add a little bit more water and just kind of play it by ear like that. Then you roll it together and then fry it in a frying pan so like I said the full recipe is on my Instagram most of the time well I have like two recipe days a week where I end up cooking our dinner which saves time and kind of kills two birds with one stone which I know is not kind of relatable to the everyday person especially if you're working full-time with kids and all the chaos is on in the house but this is a great recipe it doesn't take too long at all but obviously you've got to watch the hob to make sure it doesn't boil over and things like that so I do understand that I'm in a very privileged position to be able to cook these nice meals because I know a lot of people are struggling right now but I will be showing some more quick fire recipes throughout this week as well so everything is cooked and prepped and ready to go I just basically need to build my burger so I'll take you downstairs and show you what I'm putting in it so I'm gonna use one of these buns which is like a vegan brioche bun which looks really nice and then put it in the toaster on the bagel setting and with the bagel setting it toasts just the inside of the bun rather than the outside so this will stay nice and soft and then the inside will be nice and crispy and toasted so I've got the toasted burger bun that I I've just topped with some caramelized red onion chutney. Then I've put some crisp lettuce. Then I've put the burger patty. Then I've put some red cabbage, carrot, apple and onion coleslaw. Literally just chop those veg, whack in some salt, pepper, lemon juice and vegan mayo. And then topping it with the burger bun lid. Look at that. Oh my God. Lou's in the background like, do a little side around. Do a little side around. Oh my God, it looks amazing. It's as big as your face. <laughs> And here we have the finished masterpiece. Would you like to take a bite, Lewis? Yeah, I'm go for on. The taste test. I I'd like honest reviews it's only. It's <laughs> oh my god, the suspense is killing me. That's <laughs> fantastic. Isn't it? Mm. That's unbelievable. The flavours, What's right? It? So it's a vegan brioche bun with caramelised red onion chutney, lettuce, the vegan burger, the coleslaw, and then another bun. Very, very good. Oh, I love you. Thank you. Right team, so that's tonight's dinner done and an absolute success. The mix that I made for the burger makes about six patties. So we're gonna shove these down our gobs and then I'm sure we can make some more. Are you eating the coleslaw by spoon? <laughs> <laughs> so we can make some more patties and probably have them after as well. Um, but like I said, the full recipe is on my Insta and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. <laughs> hey guys, it is Wednesday and tonight, Lou and I every Wednesday do a Zoom. And it's a yin yoga practice and it's absolutely gorgeous. With a brand called More Life Adventures, I'll put a little link below. First one was free and then I think it was five pounds a session after that, but don't quote me on that because it might have gone up a little bit. However, it's great. It's like an hour of deep stretch relaxation and I absolutely love it. And it's from seven until eight. So usually, why am I so out of breath all the time? Usually we eat afterwards and it's just a little bit too late. So I think we're gonna eat before this week. So it's about five o'clock now. And I just thought I'd put on some food now so that Lou and I can eat before he's on the run at the moment. And when I said, I'm gonna show you some really easy to eat recipes, this is one of them. This is like as easy as it gets. So I have a big old basket of sweet potatoes and all I'm gonna do is take a couple that one's moldy, so that's not gonna be used. I'll see what I can salvage of that. Just some sweet potatoes. I'm just gonna stab them 
with a fork and I'm just gonna roast them slowly in the oven at about 200 degrees for about an hour and they go so succulent and soft and almost caramelized. They're absolutely delicious. So I'll put them in for an hour and then, I can't remember how long these take. These only take 18 minutes. So I'll set an alarm in like 40 minutes time or whatever for these Richmond sausages. Now these, if I had to rate my favorite vegan sausage, it would have to be these. I can't lie, the first time I tried them, the skin texture, cause you know real sausages are in like intestine or whatever. It was so realistic that I was a bit like, are these real sausages and had a bit of a panic but then once i saw the packet and saw that they were vegan i was like oh my god these are amazing so just gonna slowly roast those as well in the oven just gonna grab some shallots i'm just gonna thinly slice those sprinkle them over the sausages and bake those for 18 that was the tap did you hear that there is a ghost in my house. Anyway, so thinly slice these, put them over the sausages and bake those as well. And then literally just before serving, we'll whack a tin of Heinz baked beans in the oven. No, we won't in the microwave and uh, that's it. Like I said, super easy meal. I mean, I made that sound way more difficult than it needed to be, but it's literally just gonna be an oven job. I'll throw it in, do some bits and bobs whilst it's cooking and then we'll wolf it down before our yoga. I'll show you how it turns out. That is it. So just sweet potatoes stabbed with a fork. That will go in for an hour at 200 or 220. And then for the last 20 minutes, the Richmond sausages with the onion and a little drizzle of olive oil. Also, this is absolutely not about dinner, so it doesn't actually fit into this vlog, but I thought I'd share it because it was actually a really lovely afternoon. So basically, one of my best friends, Molly, her and I introduced our mums, and now they're like best friends and they go for lunches and stuff, and it's just the best thing in the world. And we went on a mummy-daughter trip, and Molly and I, that was the first time they met each other. We got on a train and we went up north to Leeds, I think it was, and we had like a two-hour train journey to like break the ice with them, and then Molly and I were in bed by like nine and with like mint teas and stuff and then they were up until like 2 a.m having a gossip anyway tangent so it's been a while since we've been able to have a catch up all together so today we decided we we're gonna have a virtual afternoon tea and we locked in a time on zoom and i sent out a recipe for a cupcake muffin and we all made the same thing sat on zoom ate our cakes and had a massive catch up and it was lovely and before we knew it an hour and 45 minutes had flown by and everyone had to go but we made these i posted a reel with the recipe on Instagram that waft as I lifted that up oh my god I posted a recipe reel but they are also in my ebook but not as a muffin as a loaf cake and I don't know if you can see them this lighting's very orange I don't know why and I'm breathing over all the cakes but it's fine and these are for the banana bread biscoff and chocolate chip muffins they are delicious these didn't rise very much which is disappointing but they're absolutely delicious and i used some reusable cupcake cases to make those and i just thought i'd share that with you i think it's so beautiful hearing all the different ways that people have found different ways to communicate during lockdown and, and kind of fitting in with this new normal and these new ways to socialize it's not ideal i can't wait to hug people but it kind of itched that scratch and made me feel really loved today so you should get on that if you're watching this and you're missing human connection organize a virtual afternoon tea here we have the finished dinner like i said not everyday gourmet we've got the roasted sausages with onions the sweet potato which i don't know if you can see this but so soft and silky and then the baked beans and then just some random greens on the side this is one of our guilty pleasure dishes isn't it can't go wrong with beans right we love to see it hello how are we doing so it's thursday evening and i've just done a live stream and before my live stream i didn't film it because i was a, in a bit of a mad flap but i made a lentil bolognese so i thought i'd talk you through the recipe now it's so easy to make literally so easy throw everything in and just leave it to cook and then i'll show you it dished up with some whole wheat tagliatelle and some vegan cheese and things like that so all i did was cook off onions garlic and chili until the onion goes see-through one whole onion diced two garlic cloves and a bit of chili and then i added in just canned lentils lentils so easy you can also add packet lentils if you want to if you have time to leave it to cook two cans of lentils a can of tinned tomatoes some balsamic vinegar salt pepper dried oregano fresh basil bit of tomato puree and then just leave it to slow cook for like 40 minutes on a really really low heat stirring it occasionally and it makes the most unbelievable lentil bolognese and obviously i've not had meat in three years now three and a half almost four years maybe more, almost four years i've not had meat but i never really liked kind of minced meat anyway i'd always have like corn mint and since shifting from corn to like lentils and stuff oh my god the flavor of the lentils they like absorb especially if you use packet 
packet lentils and leave it to cook for like an hour, an hour and ten. It just absorbs all the flavour of everything else and it's delicious. So definitely recommend that. I will put a recipe in the description box. I'll try and incorporate as many recipes as I can in the description box. And I'll just show you the finished product now. A little hack. I follow the packet instructions on the pasta. So the whole week tagliatelle that I get is from Sainsbury's or Tesco. And I cook it for 10 to 12 minutes, whatever it says on the packet. Drain out the water and then just add a knob of butter or you can use olive oil uh, and some salt and stir it in. Serve the pasta and then serve the bolognese on top and it bangs. Like that little bit of butter or oil just makes it mm, chef kiss highly recommend. I always kind of bulk cook a lentil bolognese because you can have it for lunch for the next few days. You can have it with rice as like a chili. You can have it on a jacket sweet potato. Even have it on toast. Don't knock it until you try it. Lou sometimes cuts a bagel in half, toasts it and then puts the bolognese mixture on top and it's unbelievable. Or even if you put like a thin slice of vegan cheese on top of the bagel and then the bolognese on top. Oh, I hope you can see how passionate I am about food because I'm starving now and just thinking about it is getting me excited. Here we have the finished dinner. So the pasta, the whole wheat tagliatelle with some vegan butter, the lentil bolognese and then some fresh basil on top. And then for a nice vegan cheese on top, just use this Bosch Nooch nutritional yeast and sprinkle that on top. And it doesn't look like much, but I promise you it bangs. No, happy Friday. Today was the sunniest day of the year so far. It was unbelievable. So I'm literally in the best mood ever. Lou and I have wrapped up for work for the weekend. And usually on the weekend we get a takeaway. So probably tomorrow night we're gonna get a takeaway. Haven't decided what yet. I'm requesting pizza. So I'll show you that if we order one of those. However, tonight we're gonna have one of our favorite meals. I call them cheat meals, not because you know when some people call cheat meals just because they're like a little bit indulgent. Not because of that, because it's just easy cooking where you kind of just throw things in a microwave or a pan and just eat it. So we're having a little cheat meal tonight and it's breakfast for dinner, which is one of our favorite things to do. So we're gonna do like toasted bagels, baked beans. And then I do this thing that is so delicious with silken tofu. And silken tofu is cupboard essential for me because it's long life. It stays in its little carton for a long time. It's a really good source of protein and it's so versatile. So you can use it in sauces. So if we're gonna make a carbonara sauce, you can blend it in there as a source of protein. And also it makes it really silky and smooth. You can use it in baking. You can make mousses with it. It's so versatile and I'll hopefully throughout my YouTube process show you how to use it more. It also makes a really nice scrambled egg texture and you can either just crumble it up with a little bit of turmeric to make it look yellow and cook it off nicely with some sun-dried tomatoes or something. That's a really easy way to do it. Or the way that I'm going to show you now is making it into an egg mayonnaise style dish. So we've got a new mayonnaise that we're trying by Follow Your Heart. This isn't an ad or anything but it's called Follow Your Heart, the brand. And they do an avocado oil mayonnaise and it's really fresh and lovely. There's also a Heinz Baconase, which is unbelievable as well. And I'm gonna show you how to make a silken tofu scrambled egg. Scrambled egg, must use the inverted commas. And just show you how we make our breakfast for dinner. I hope you're enjoying this vlog so far. I hope it's not making you too hungry. <laughs> there I was saying that silken tofu is a staple that you need in your life and always need in your cupboard and we don't actually have any. So instead of using silken tofu, we're gonna use firm tofu, which works too. But silken tofu is, is just so good to have, isn't it? I said it's good for like sauces and stuff. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to use a block of unsilken tofu, but either works. silken tofu obviously but try that it's so <laughs> hang on i've got to take my teeth out oh he's got invisalign damn it, oh, oh. Damn it. <laughs> but it is very tasty yeah. and you can also do it with chickpeas so if you don't like tofu or anything like that a can of chickpeas is really useful to have in the cupboard and you can either softly boil them so they go a bit softer yeah taste that oh that was a nice big mouthful there that's phenomenal isn't it yeah is it just like a few ingredients and it bangs? Mm. Like it just doesn't make sense. We're gonna create the rest of the elements of this breakfast for dinner. That's unreal. Isn't it? So it's four tablespoons of any vegan mayonnaise, but we went half and half between the avocado oil mayo and the baconaise. Game changing, I'm Bacon telling you. Mm. 
sensational. Now, the good thing about breakfast for dinner is you're already breaking all the rules, so you actually can't go wrong. So I'm having a toasted whole wheat bagel with baked beans, a rocket salad with some slow roasted tomatoes in balsamic glaze, and then the tofu mayonnaise. Now, does that go together? Absolutely not, but am I gonna love every single mouthful? Absolutely yes. What was that? <laughs> he was like, are you eating alone tonight, are you? Well, no. I, 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 I. <laughs> I meant us. We're having very different foods though. He's got four slices of toast. So here we have my finished meal, which is the toasted bagels, the scrambled tofu, the beans, the rocket and the tomatoes. Lou and I have such rogue taste buds, but we both have the same, so it just works. Hello and happy Saturday. So I think yesterday I mentioned we usually get a takeaway on the weekend and I thought we were gonna be getting it today, but we've actually had such a nice day. Like my family and I went on a little drive to get a snack and a coffee and the sun was out, so it was just lovely. And we ended up getting a Greg's sausage roll in between lunch and dinner, so I'm actually too hungry now. No, I'm not. I'm too full now for like a full on takeaway and kind of everyone agreed. So instead, Lou and I are gonna make burrito bowls for dinner and then we're gonna have a family takeaway tomorrow. And I think we're gonna get a nice big curry or something. So for our burrito bowls, we just wanted like minimal washing up. So we've just used some packet rice. We've roasted some peppers and then Lou's just cooked some black beans in garlic, chili and tomato puree to make it really creamy and tomato -y and not really creamy, but to make it really tomato -y. And Then we'll just load it all together into a little burrito bowl with some vegan cheese, some vegan aioli. You might be able to hear Lewis singing in the kitchen. I love it. Whenever he cooks, he puts on music and just sings along. That's just my favorite thing in the world. But yeah, I'll show you what our final dinner looks like. And then other than that, we're just having such a chilled sloth day. We're watching a TV series at the moment called This Is Us on Amazon Prime. And oh my God, if you haven't seen it, like I highly recommend it. If you watched my last few vlogs, I've been addicted to Outlander and we watched all five series in like less than two weeks and I was obsessed. But Outlander was very heavy, like some very dark things happened with some very dark topics. But This Is Us is like very soft and gentle and just so beautiful and I don't want to give any spoilers so I'm not going to kind of tell you what it's about but it's just great so we're going to watch like however many episodes of that and then tomorrow I'll check in when we get our takeaway. So here we have the finished burrito bowl that doesn't look too appetizing but here is the rice, the roasted peppers and then the black beans with tomato, sriracha, garlic and then some peas and corn in there as well and then I'm just going to top it with some of this grated cheese which is vegan mozzarella style and just going to sprinkle that on. You can get this from Sainsbury's or Tesco. Delicious! Ooh, ooh. Mm. Big cheese, ooh. <laughs> Hello and happy Sunday. So the team, I see the team, the household, completely blitzed the house today. So we've gone around and we've had a massive clear out. Clothes of beauty products we're not using and we've just been running wild, getting stuff ready into charity bags to send off as soon as we can. And I think we all are craving a takeaway. Just the fact that we don't have to cook for ourselves for a change sounds lovely. So we found an Indian takeaway in lockdown one that we are absolutely obsessed with. We found it on Just Eat originally, which I think is a great way to like see what's on the menu and things. Sometimes there's like pictures. It's really good for vegans. They have a whole vegan section. So it's so easy to just be like bosh. Or if not, they'll have the allergens on there. So it's just great. But now we found out for them, it's actually better to order directly from them so we are doing that. I can hear the sweet sweet sound of Lewis ordering in the background and I'm so excited. So we're ordering for my mum and dad as well. We'll have a nice big curry takeaway and I find that with curries a lot of the side dishes are vegan anyway or well, that's what we found with our local one. So we always have this like amazing spread because the sides are only about this big, this big, we always have this amazing buffet spread just full of delicious vegan goodness. We are going to make our own rice just because our Thermomix has a rice cooker setting and it just makes the perfect rice every single time whether it's high sticky rice or just wholemeal rice or whatever it is it's just delicious it saves us money as well so we're gonna do that i will show you what we order and i'm just very much looking forward to it i hope you've enjoyed this vlog so far as well i usually do like weekly vlogs of like what i'm up to and kind of throw the food in there a little bit so i hope you found it enjoyable or insightful to kind of see my meals and if you do let me know in the comments just because my meals change week to week day to day whatever so if you want to see something like this again i will happily share it if that's what you enjoy so let me know in the comments and i'll let you know when the takeaway gets here 
Okay, so here are the vegan dishes. There's a potato dish, an aubergine, an okra, and then this is the chana masala, which is chickpeas. And then we also got a lentil dal. Fresh out the Thermomix is the Thai sticky rice. And then here we have it, an absolute feast. I'm gonna sit and tuck into this and enjoy it with my family. But if you've enjoyed this vlog, then please give it a cheeky thumbs up and leave a comment letting me know what you thought about it. And I'll be back next week with another video. Um, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon.